back to another episode of the Public Law right here on TammyPepperman.org, No Borders Radio, at NoBordersRadio.co.uk. And we're thankful tonight for all of the support that we have been given by Tamweb Work, Tamworth Web Development. And you can donate if you'd like to. Uh, by going to TammyPepperman.org and clicking on the donate button, every little bit helps. Tonight has just, I mean, so many things are going on. Our, our hearts and our prayers are with the Ebola victims at this time. This Ebola outbreak is absolutely horrifying. Um, I, I'm, I'm watching these things occur. Aid workers have now contracted the virus, trying to help the general counsel, and um, it's just we're trying to get in there as quickly as we can to facilitate containment. But uh, these are scary days for sure. I know that from you know, anyone who has come into contact with the general counsel within the last three months. Please, please go get tested for the Ebola virus so that this does not spread. This is the plague. General Counsel was going to release the plague upon humanity. They ended up making themselves sick instead. And we are hurrying to facilitate the cleanup of this mess and to stop the plague from going out any further. We are uh, attempting now to provide containment as best as we are able and as to and according to our capabilities at this time. And again, if you would like to support our efforts, please go through Tamworth Web Development um, and you can get there through our site. Uh, we do have contact features, uh, things of that nature, if you would like to communicate with any one in Tam, Tamworth web, uh, web Development or TammyPepperman.org, uh, No Borders Radio, and all of our supporters. Um, and these things, <clears throat> again, now an aid worker has contracted Ebola. Um, these things are so horrifyingly bad. Uh, during these times of, of or Russia and, and the United States Incorporated are still in in screaming matches with each other as as everything is is going up in flames and we're trying to stifle these things and we're trying to put a lid on general counsel general counsel's mess here they're out promoting more and more and more war upon humankind in a different uh, venue, this is not going to be tolerated. You're not going to uh, let off a, a plague and then scurry off into hiding. Excuse me. This is not tolerable in any way. It will not be tolerated. These things are insane. So, anyone who has had contact with the general counsel, GALs, anyone who's had prolonged contact with the general counsel within the last three months, this includes psychiatrists, uh, GALs, attorneys, judges, the symptoms of Ebola HF typically include fever, headache, joint and muscle aches, weakness, diarrhea, vomiting, stomach pain, and lack of appetite. Uh, this plague, it, it ultimately, it, it causes bleeding and hemorrhaging internally. So this isn't something to scoff at and, and something that, you know, a couple Tylenol is going to fix. We need to keep ahead of this thing so that it does not wipe out humanity and psychopathy alike. We cannot afford 
to lose any more numbers. Psychopathy cannot afford to lose any more numbers either. Now, we are offering our services and the services of the Red Cross, the services of Realtors, and anything that is needed to facilitate the containment of this plague upon us. Kim Jong-un, we've been saying all along, he's, he's absolutely beautiful, and he is. He's got his arms open and ready for any and all victims of the Ebola virus. And he has indicated his desire to help any and all of those in need at this time. And all of these things, of course, I mean, this is just a godsend. It's as if Michael the Archangel has risen. It's absolutely beautiful. So General Con Council here, we've got a patent on the human Ebola virus species. You can find this right on Google. It's one of the U.S. patents. October 4th, 2012. This is well, well beyond the laws of war that indicate the use of biological weaponry is unlawful on its face. Now, General Counsel, to all of those survivors of the Ebola virus that you just let loose upon all of us, will be held accountable for these things. Goodness. Sick. Sick. And then, right in the middle of this crisis, I think I've got both finally. Bo, do I have you? Yeah, I'm pretty pretty much here. I've been listening. Sorry for being on a rant and all of these things. And now, right in the middle of this crisis, it comes out that there's drug-addicted doctors running clinical trials and more. Right on Mockweek, this uh, ProPublica.org. Yeah? Right when we need doctors most. I mean, this is like, oh my. This is uh, horrifying for the general counsel. But uh, again, the, the uh, Red Cross is there at your disposal. Well, yeah, and the doctors, they pretty much have access to anything they need. They can get with one of their colleagues, or I'm sure they've got the ways of getting their own prescriptions that they may want or more like need. Right, and they've got um, all these contracts. Too. More like want, probably, actually. I mean, like... You know, kind of like uh, the doctor there in uh, Dave Chappelle's uh, movie where, um, you know, he's getting big bricks of weed. Oh, that's unlawful. Or now that's lawful, too. All across the um, global scene, we're seeing um, more um, support for marijuana growth, for hemp growth, and um, the, as to its curative effect. And it's in its goodness for humanity. So that's it's been really beautiful to see these things, and um, the call to not only you know make it legal, make it legal like in years past, but uh, absolutely to uh, take away prohibition in all of its forms completely. And, and um, it's been beautiful to see. Yeah. Well, I can't remember the name of it. Uh, one of those Dave Chappelle movies and. Uh, he was observing that the doctor was uh, able to write these prescriptions for these big bricks of medical marijuana, you know, so, of course, uh, I'll have to go back and review that, because I, I think I had to uh, uh, forego seeing the ending of that, but that was quite an exciting, uh, very funny, humorous Dave Chappelle movie. Um, but yeah, I digress. I'm way off the uh, talking points. I'm sure. No, it's it's enlightening. It's been a uh, really long day. It's overwhelming. Oh God, the corporate media out there is talking about what are going to be the issues 
for the next election runs and yeah. Congress. Who should be in Congress? Yeah, Congress is kind of in a lot of hot water. Um, not sure if everybody's been paying attention, but uh, uh, Boyner came out in defense of Israel. Now uh, we already knew that they would. Uh, again, General Counsel was attempting genocide on all of the populace, not just humanity, not just psychopathy. General Counsel released released the Ebola virus and accidentally caught it themselves through two of their dumbass doctors who have already passed away because of this stupid stunt. So I don't think that, that anybody's going to be voting for any Congress because they're, they're not going to be there. And I'm terribly sorry to inform everybody, but uh, they've been not only evidence to be perpetrating genocide in, in slow, meticulous measures, but they just released Ebola on the populace and so we took away uh, th their toys. They don't have any toys left, they don't have any authority, they were evidenced to be infants, um, imbeciles, and, and mentally incompetent. They can't make their own decisions so we had to trump up on them a little bit here and uh, invoke Perens Patri Doctrine because that's our requirement under parents to try is if somebody's in need of parenting we're required to parent them because they were killing each other. Yeah, well I suppose that is the doctors just on too many drugs or, or they um or their brain just burned away from uh, seven years of medical school and such. Well check out that new uh, thing on ProPublica today, ProPublica dot org. It's actually labeled, the headline reads, Drug Addicted Docs Running Clinical Trials and More. And, and they are. They're just drug addicted. They're, they're, they're in the system because they're addicted. They have to do something by which to garner their drugs. And so they're, they're uh, contracting with the uh, pharmaceutical companies. So they're not so innocent after all. You know? and, and we knew that when I spoke to uh, Dr. Gary there when he was killing Joseph Reynolds. Oh yeah. And he didn't want to talk to you anymore after I brought up the subject of genocide. No. Their, their attorneys have advised them not to uh, talk to you. Right. When you ask certain questions. Right. And it, even dropping my name the other day, that guy just, oh, gotta go to dinner. Yeah, they always have to go to dinner. Nobody will play with me anymore. Maybe it's because I only adhere to the evidence, and you can't trump evidence. You can't talk around it, you can't dance around it, it never changes. It, it is the truth, the absolute. Whining exactly. stuff help them. Some people don't like that. They don't like that absolute truth. They just want that easier to swallow. Uh, maybe I can find somebody to administrate me better kind of truth. Right. One that feels better and comes at such a high price. I mean, isn't that that old song, uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia? He was looking for a soul to steal. I mean, isn't that what people are doing when they patronize this law merchant and all of their different forms of law, common law, equity, commerce, what have you? Right? Absolutely. International law makes no difference. That's the laws of the law merchants, wherever right. they might. It's calling something Whatever form thought. they might take up. Yep. And not least of which are the definitions behind all the words. Right. And it's calling right. something else their father. So they're just, they're patronizing it. They're calling it their Lord God. Right? And it is a representation of God. It is not their God. Those are, those are my children. Those uh, children are not the children of the Lord God. You know, unless you want to be. If you're Satan's children, go 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 over to your daddy. You know, nobody's forcing you to stay here in my kingdom, but you're not going to be here and a threat to humanity any longer. Well, I do have this bit I was pulling up. Uh, blacklisted news, congressional report. Ebola bio kits developed, deployed rather, to National Guard units in all 50 states. Right. 
and they were going to deploy this, but the National Guard doesn't appear to be adhering to those directives. What happened was it started at the center with the general counsel, and they made themselves sick instead. So then the directors are missing for the deployment of the rest of the virus. And so I, I'm pretty sure that they bit themselves right in the keister when they accidentally spilled Ebola on themselves and made themselves ill. That wasn't a very good thing to do. It's not very smart. It's not economically efficient. It's not good administration. It is not good and beneficial to politics in any way, shape, or form. It's not beneficial to any entity. No, except for perhaps um, pocketbooks for uh, military industrial contracts. Well, I mean, um, that's what it because takes. that's the only reason they keep these viruses around, bioweapons, and any of this stuff they don't really need for anything else except for killing people. Right. Uh, I took their access because I'm actually the king. I'm a sovereign. They could have got rid of like that uh, Spain, Spanish flu. Right. On the turn of the century, but no, no, they get to keep that for uh, turn of last century now. Now we're talking two centuries back, but not but that's two centuries ago. Happened. But when they made themselves sick. They evidence themselves to be infants in need of administration. Well, well, they've been doing that for a long time anyway. Yeah, but it was never that stupid and never that blatant. So finally they were caught right out in the open trying to kill human beings with Ebola. They spilled it on themselves or whatever. The two doctors uh, died first, so we're assuming that the two doctors accidentally contracted it when they were transporting it. And uh, they had been around the general council receiving their directives. And... It was not known about the plague until the two doctors got sick. And then all of a sudden, everybody's eyes were open to, oh my God, there's general counsel, they're all sick in Sierra Leone, and it, it just keeps on spreading, whoever they were in contact with. It's terrifying. Yeah, I know. So the main outbreaks right now are in Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone. It's just, it's terrifying, absolutely terrifying. You know, if we don't hurry and, and put a halt to this and, and get it under containment, this is the plague. This is a plague. And looking at this story over here, back to blacklisted news, because they got the clear and present danger doctrine, some kind of all-purpose, all-application weapon or something. What is that? It's got... Uh, a scope and uh, know, looks like, like a gun, cross, laser sights, yeah, a flashlight. And crossbow all in this. Crossbow, yeah, gun. I wonder if it's a, just a replica. Well, you probably get it and it's probably two inches long. And you <laughs> yeah. Put it on the end of an eraser. <laughs> Some kind of that's goofy advertisement there. Um, it's funny. It, it looks like it'd be uh, pretty heavy, too, with all those toys on there. But I digress. And. Okay, so what this story basically is saying over uh, about the 50 states then, uh, National Guards, right? The Department of Defense informed Congress that it has deployed biological diagnostic systems to National Guard support teams in all 50 states, according to a report published by the Committee on Armed Services. Good. The report Good. published in April amid growing fears that the Ebola hemorrhage hemorrhagic fever virus might spread outside of West Africa. Right. So that the portable systems are designed for low probability, high consequence scenarios. Good. Good. So they're on the ground and they're in your area in case you need testing for Ebola. If you have been in contact with the general counsel or any part of the general counsel, including attorneys and judges and things of the courthouse, uh, within the last three months, because uh, Ebola is said to lay dormant for a month and a half to three months uh, at a time, according to what I've been reading, and, and these things are, it's very important that you get tested, they'll clear you out, you can see they're uh, in the media all over, the, uh, you know, a lot of them I've been watching, and, and they're being 
test it and then clear it immediately. So it looks like we've got some some good streamlining going on with the testing procedures and it, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of wait time. I haven't heard any complaints about wait time or or long lines or that you know victims are not being seen to and taken care of appropriately. So let us know what the media know of course uh, if there's anything that, that you need and, and uh, we'll attempt to provide what is necessary. Well, this is some 340 Joint Biological Agent Identification Diagnostic Systems, it's JBAIDS units, have thus far been given to emergency response personnel. Systems are rapid, reliable, and provide simultaneous identification of specific biological agents and pathogens, says Executive Officer for the DOD's Chemical and Biological Defense Group, Carmen J. Spencer. Chemical and Biological Defense Program has sharpened the DOD diagnostic portfolio by increasing the capability of our field systems, fielded systems, some 340 of which have been provided to the military services. Good. Good. Joint Biological Agent Identification and Diagnostic System is a portable system capable of rapid, reliable, and simultaneous identification of specific biological agents and pathogens. Awesome. So the wait time is, is nothing, everybody. So um, at least we can provide the comfort during this time. and, and um, uh, this is an amazing response. I have never seen such a beautiful response from the Red Cross and everybody jumping in to save general counsel and, and stop the spread of Ebola virus. I mean, this is amazing that that we've got this level of containment with so much at stake. So now it says, by partnering with the U.S. Army Medical Research and Material Command and the Food and Drug Administration, right. we have made accessible additional diagnostic assays for high consequence, low probability biological threat agents for use during declared public health emergencies. Good. Yes, we declared a state of emergency yesterday, and that that is a requirement to get everybody together in the same place so that they can help those that need help. Uh, we do not want a plague spreading. No, plagues I mean, are bad, are, okay. We're, we're going as quickly as we can to neutralize the situation and provide uh, absolute containment. I know that there's they were reporting uh, one or two escapees from camps, but other than that, we haven't seen much of uh, a lot of movement outside of the uh, sealed pods and that they're using the uh, most uh, protective procedures uh, in the air. I know, I know I was watching an airliner with its uh, pod set up and, and everything is is precise and as to uh, procedure when biological warfare is, is uh, has been employed in any way uh, I'm watching the containment and so far um, it has been a blessed event. We're, we're limiting the collateral damage as much as we can, although the death rate uh, stands right now at over 700. Uh, as I said before, you know, we had no idea uh, that these things were occurring until those two doctors ended up dying. And, and if corp or general counsel had spoken about this in the, in the beginning, it, w it would have less been a much, much, much less of a death toll and death rate. And it, it's shame on you, General Counsel, for that one. Um, but now we do know we are evidencing uh, containment and uh, attempting to stop this. Uh, and we'll keep everybody updated as we go along on the shows. And we'll pick up some extra hours this week as well because I know it's a long way in between Saturday and Wednesday. So we'll, we'll be right here on No Borders Radio, TammyPepperman.org. And of course, we'll be sharing this with the host rooms so that other hosts can provide accurate uh, uh, truth during these times.
And they've shown you the dramatizations of these things in movies, and so you know that maybe although these movies are entertainment and drama, the actual data they use to derive the storylines about these contagions and things that, oh, uh, what was the one Dustin Hoffman did one, and there's been, uh, oh, a few others, uh, the zombies one, the recent zombies movie, you know, and it's just, it's unbelievable how horrifying these tiny little living creatures, I would call them, but uh, they're very, very tiny life forms that somehow mutate to an ability to really be incredibly deadly killing machine. Now, I believe the death rate is as high as 90%, although with quicker treatment, they're saying that they could uh, increase that to giving you a 54% chance of surviving if they treat you right away. And we're working on it. We've got tests uh, scheduled to start occurring in September. Maybe we can push that date up. Um, if there are volunteers that would like to volunteer for the clinical trials, uh, you know, contact your local Red Cross and things like that. And you can volunteer to help us find uh, a cure for Ebola and, and things of that nature. Yes, and it is it's real serious uh, stuff. You don't want to get Ebola. No. Um, let's see, you want to read any more from this story, or uh, mm -hmm. you, got, you got something else? I have not uh, got my usual tools here in front of me. Again, the symptoms of Ebola HF typically include fever, headache, joint and muscle aches, weakness, diarrhea, vomiting, stomach pain, and la lack of appetite. And you can find the symptoms right at cdc.gov. And um, it's all right there for you to read at this time. And again, we're trying is, is to move as quickly as we can. And um, so far, so good. It looks like uh, we're at containment with uh, two uh, escape campers. It sounds like they were just campers that may have inadvertently, uh, you know, walked out uh, in the middle of a quarantine. And so uh, we'll update on that as well as we are able and more information becomes available for dissemination. Right. And there's stories coming out on this thing all the time. So the media will be our witness. Absolutely, always, and um, it's been uh, quite a journey here. Looks like Africa is going to uh, join us. Um, let's see here. African leaders agree um, steps to fight a runaway Ebola virus or outbreak. And um, West African leaders agree on Friday to take stronger measures to try to bring the worst outbreak of Ebola under control and prevent it spreading outside the region, including steps to isolate rural communities ravaged by, by the disease. The World Health Organization medical charity Medicine Sound Frontiers said on Friday the outbreak, which has killed 729 people in four West African county countries, was out of control and more resources were urgently needed to deal with it. Who Chief Margaret Chan told a meeting of the presidents of Guinea, Liberia, and Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone, the countries worst affected, that the epidemic was outpacing efforts to contain it and warned of catastrophic consequences and lost lives and economic disruption if the situation were allowed to deteriorate. The prestigious the presidents recognized the serious nature of the Ebola outbreaks in, in their countries. Chan said after the meeting, they are determined to take extraordinary measures to stop Ebola in their countries. Well, thankfully, we'll, we'll have more breaking news as it comes out. Um, again, Africa is saying, no, it is not at containment, and they need more supplies. So we're 
going to go ahead and get those out to you as quickly as possible. And again, a shout out to Kim Jong Un. Uh, because North Korea is in closer proximity, and uh, because of uh, all of these different things that just lined up, uh, Kim Jong Un is offering so much to help the Ebola victims, including uh, space in North Korea, so that they can find solace and rest there uh, in these hospitals and institutions. And, and the technology is amazing. Uh, in the last several years, North Korea has been uh, rebuilding and, and becoming really, really spectacular. Recently, you did a report on on their summer camp for kids. They've got a new ski resort. And uh, rumor has it, it's a lot like uh, Las Vegas. Well, it's for eight days, 300 Children from around the world and teens are going to vacation in, in their uh, finest places they got for them. They've got swimming and uh, it looks like some volleyball. They're going to have all the uh, special accoutrements for them. They're even going to allow them to have air conditioning. Yeah, yeah, he's really uh, been amenable for all of the things. I mean, when Dennis Rodman was there, it didn't look like he was having a hard time or anything or suffering in any way. He's got some, some pretty incredible well, news. Rodman technology. and him have a great time when they hang out. Yeah, and it, he's technologically advanced, and, and I'm, I'm hoping and praying that this is the case and that we can uh, contain the Ebola outbreak at this time because, uh, you know, again, Kim Jong-un has been updating and, and uh, uh, the uh, his updates sound like they're really advanced in comparison to a lot of the other third world countries and others around the globe. So we'll see uh, how this uh, goes in the next several days and, and weeks to come. Because I know that uh, again, Ebola does lie dormant for several months or a month and a half to three months. I think it it, it had said, and, and um, I pray that we can find containment as soon as possible. Things are scary. Quite scary. This is a plague we're dealing with. Yeah, it's something that's very serious and could spiral out of control. Not, uh, you know, watched and carefully you know, taken care of in the proper manner. Absolutely. Destroy the thing. Yep. Destroy the virus. Don't keep around some extra vials of it in your refrigerator just for... Just in case like, there's a just, rainy day. Yeah. This is insane. That's just in what case you get small. covered up by a dome and you got <laughs> off like yeah. some of your people because you're running out of food or something yeah. like that. No, oh, that was under the dome. And then um, what was that? Uh, they did it just recently. The smallpox. CDC said that they found some stored unlawfully even at the CDC recently and I was so uh, concerned and here uh, general counsel we find was just walking around with this stuff and made themselves sick I mean this is ridiculous they're, they're infants they need to be picked up uh, and saved from themselves uh, if, that, if at all possible uh, Belgian doctor denies help to Jewish 90 year old woman Oh, and, and this is so sad. This disparity of uh, any classification is, is just so sad to classify any human or any being for that matter. And man, we don't we don't want those kind of doctors. We we want the doctors that are helping now in North Korea, in Boston General, in um, all of these places dealing with this uh, Ebola outbreak and. Um, of course, trying to find containment for the plague, and, and that's all that matters. That's all that matters. We need to uh, face reality here, folks, and, and deal with this. This is facing us, something that we have to get up through and overcome, and we're going to do that together. And uh, we're going to stand in solidarity and uh, contain this plague before it wipes us all out. I mean, there's no other option. So, 
you might want to stay away from general counsel, I guess, at this time, uh, if at all possible. Um, well, I mean, just for the sake of shutting down whether it's, you know, it's uh, the right thing to do or not, uh, it is the right thing to do. But that would include probably attorneys that are in contact with those members of general counsel then as well, wouldn't you say, Tammy? Well, on general counsel, they're the go-between between Congress and everyone else. They're the go-between between Congress and the corporate counsel attorneys and the GALs and the IRS. Um, the, the meeting at these uh, ADA meetings, you know, the district attorney weekly meetings, at least weekly meetings. And so those that have been in contact with general counsel, please, please, please get tested for the Ebola virus immediately. This is horrifying. We don't want to see any higher of a death rate. Right now, uh, a few minutes ago, I don't know if you heard, that number is up to 723. 723 now? Yeah. These things are just so horrifying. Wow. And then the fact that the virus lays dormant, possibly, for months, did you say? Right. That's what it's saying. A month and a half to three months. It's just, it's horrifying to think about what, what we're really facing. What we're watching right now. And our faces plague this thing. It's just it's horrifying what they've they've created. Oh my goodness, get it. We need to get it under containment. Yeah. What about that um Mary Greeley headline? Should we read that one? Yes. I, I haven't seen that one yet. Uh it's in a form of a video, so I'm not gonna be able to really Tell you much about it, but uh, well, corporate the, council travels a lot too. So, anybody who's been traveling on closed spaces, airplanes, and things, and elevators, so yeah, it's a video on Mary Greeley's channel titled The Rich Will Spread Ebola Faster, Ebola Spiring Out of Control. Oh, and the, again, it goes back to the travel, the, they're all traveling together on these airplanes, right? It's um, part of their activities because. They've got big right. deals and big money. Big money got a mean streak. Right. Big money got no soul. Oh my goodness. If you've big flown money spreads with, the Ebola virus. If you've flown with general counsel, corporate counsel, guardian ad litems, any judges. member. Judges. Yep, judges. Any member of the IRS, the IRS agents, they take the directives Attorneys, from general counsel. IRS agents. And Congress itself, you know, that's the Board of Governors right there, it's the General Counsel, and, and uh, oh my goodness, this is terrible. Of course, all these doctors. Now, anyone in contact with General Counsel who's, who takes their directives from General, general Counsel, because it, it only spreads by prolonged contact. You know, this isn't something like you can catch on the side of the street or walking down the street. Um, it's, it's horrifying what this Ebola virus actually does. It causes internal hemorrhaging. When you're, yeah. When you're bleeding out your eyes and ears, it's not a good thing. Not good at all. I mean, that's the kind of stuff you see in science fiction movies, but some of these science fiction movies are based on, like, uh, when they make up uh, these horrifying viruses. The, the Last Ship, for example. The Last Ship is about how this virus just pretty much decimated 99% of the population on the whole planet, right? And the, how did they cure it? Well, they haven't yet. They're, they're traveling around on this ship waiting for the doctor to come up with the cure and oh, they have to go get monkeys from ports and they have to go to these ports that you know have sick people still and so they're, they're containment suits there was one right one shipmate that uh, didn't make it past the first episode you know and they boarded the ship that was infected and he ripped his suit to, you know the suit will only keep it protected as long as it doesn't get ripped but 
has got ripped. Yeah, we need to send patching kits or something with the Red Cross so that they have the, the available uh, necessities to prevent such a, such a thing from like suits and stuff uh, ripping as these aid workers are are trying to get into these uh, very dangerous to get to locations. These, these locations are not, you know, in, industrialized locations. These are very quiet neighborhoods and, and, and very, um, you know, very beautiful places to live in. And there's not a lot of, um, you know, interference by westernized, uh, you know, things. So, so it's taking longer to get to some of these places, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Well, let's see, we've got another one here, another story from, looks like, Campaign R20 or something. I'm not sure, uh, eyeball sight, but what are U.S. bio-war researchers doing in the Ebola zone? Right. Uh, this is a call for an immediate, thorough, and independent inv investigation of Tulane University researchers and their Fort Detrick associates in the U.S. bio fair, bio, bio warfare research community, right? Who have been operating in West Africa during the past several years. Yeah, they need to all be arrested for the spread of this plague. Those are the those are the criminals that were being directed by General Counsel. They were taking the directives from General Counsel, and, and that's why we saw. What happened? The first two doctors have died. What about the others? There's a whole bunch of others there that have been attempting to spread this virus upon humanity. And apparently they're the ones that caught it. I don't think that their immunity can handle Ebola virus. Maybe humanity is, is immune to it, as I'm not seeing much of those with frontal lobes being affected. Uh, well, I'm not going to risk it. I am going to keep plenty of coil silver around. Uh, not that I have any contact with general counsel. I mean, I don't really like to be, uh, to have to be around them, to be honest with you. They're creepy. But, um, I digress. Digress, it is. So, exactly what diagnostic tests have they been performing on citizens of Sierra Leone? Why do we have reports that the government of Sierra Leone has recently told Tulane researchers to stop this testing? Right, because they don't want to get caught, but we need to get them out of there immediately. And that, that is uh, a directive, global directive. Uh, whoever's involved in the spread of any disease uh, of this nature, I mean, this is this is sick. This virus is this is just sick. We need to uh, get those folks out of there. Uh, stop the spread of Ebola. And, and of course, uh, first and foremost is containment, 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 containment. This is horrifying. Uh, it goes on to say the research program occurring in Sierra Leone, the Republic of Guinea, and Liberia said to be the epicenter of the 2014 Ebola outbreak has the announced purpose, among others, of detecting the future use of fever viruses as bioweapons. Right. And that's what they've always So, they asked a bunch of questions. Have Tulane researchers and their associates attempted any experimental treatments, like injecting monoclonal antibodies using citizens of the region? If so, what adverse effects have occurred? Right. And, and what we're seeing is, is one of those clinical trials uh, in accordance with the FDA and the Ethics Commission, and what happened was it backfired on General Counsel. General Counsel was the one on the ground directing, and it, it ended up sick, and that's why it's under quarantine at this time, because it is ill and suffering from this plague. Did you catch the one on the Investment Watch blog yet? Oh, no. Do you have it? Oh, I can get it. Uh, that's that's where they issued the level three travel alert. Oh my goodness, God! 
Yeah, you know, you didn't know that? CDC issued level 3 travel alert as largest Ebola in history spreads. Holy cow. And as soon as this thing stops popping up with adverts. We've got to get containment immediately. I mean, here we are, we're trying to talk time. about this Ebola outbreak, and these darn websites are, are, are just bogging you down with all these adverts. And the worst ones are the, the pop-ups that... that they refuse to let you close them. Well, what's up with that? Oh, they fight you. So. Yeah, anyway, it, it, CDC it was, issues level three. Yep, and it was just horrifying to find that patents, and that they've been holding a patent on the human Ebola virus species and compositions and methods thereof. It's U.S. Patent Number Two Zero One Two Zero Two Five One. 502 dot space A1. And again, the publication date of this patent was October 4th, 2012. Filing date was October 26, 2009. Priority date was October 24, 2008. This is a patented product of the United States Incorporated. It has been deployed upon all life on this planet. It was deployed upon the directives of General Counsel, who are now under quarantine because they ended up catching it themselves and killing two of their doctors so far. One aid worker is sick right now uh, from the reports I've seen, and the death toll is at 729 beings or entities. Uh, that This is just absolutely insane to watch as general counsel attempts mass genocide and ends up uh, making itself sick. That is disgusting. Again, as soon as you're all better, you will be held accountable according to your works. Man, what a mess they make. They make messes out of everything. They destroy everything. These attorneys don't like life at all. They just, uh, worse than a plague. Yeah. Well, I wonder if Ebola really is a synthetic virus. No, it's I mean, it seems to be more hostile and vicious than anything that would occur in nature. Well, on their patent, it says its compositions and methods, including and related to the Ebola bugbugio virus or Ebobun, are provided compositions are provided that are operable as immunogens to elicit an immune response or protection from Ebobun challenge in a subject such as a primate. Inventive methods are directed to detection and treatment of Ebobun infection. And of course, the external links on this is going to, directly to, USPTO, USPTO assignment, and eSpace net. And of course, those are the patent holders. United States Incorporated of this plague that was just recently released upon life and uh, no that is not going to be acceptable here in my kingdom I have invoked friends to try it is the United States lowercase picking you up and saving you from yourselves and all of humanity will be whole once again, once we get this under containment. Sick. In the meantime, they probably killed a reported uh, almost uh, double that in uh, Gaza. Right, Israel. I mean, all at the same time. Again, John Boyner came out today 
It's well, that's bad enough if it just ends now. But let's see. Uh, so death uh, says 100 killed in 14 hours. As guys, a death toll rises above 1,200. So not quite double. Would you say it was up to 723? Yeah. The Ebola. A few moments ago, yes. But it's above 1,200 now in the Gaza death toll. This has got to end. Whoever uh, yeah, and that's, that's just a good has got to be arrested. Arrest any and all who are aiding and abetting the United States Incorporated in their actions against humanity. Yeah, it says uh, it's got a picture here of Israeli forces. Uh, Flares light up the night sky of Gaza City on early Tuesday, July 29th. And man, they got just like five missiles in one picture here. It's interesting. Um, not not uh, in a good way, though. Uh, a truce between Israel and Hamas militants in Gaza remained elusive as diplomats sought to end the fighting at the start of the Eid al Fitr holiday, marking the end of the Muslim holy month of Ramadan. The death toll in Gaza Strip has now passed 1,200 people since Israel began bombing on July 8th, and the Palestinian Ministry of Health reports Tuesday that more than 100 people were killed in the 14 hours from overnight Monday into mo morning as mosques homes and other structures were hit during a sharp intensification of the bombardment. Israel's got to be stopped. The corporation has to be put under. It did not hear us. Yeah, and they uh, w went and uh, cut their last ceasefire short because they said that one of their Israeli soldiers had been kidnapped. It turned out he wasn't kidnapped. Right. It was just or a story at least it wasn't up. kidnapped by Hamas, right? Ridiculous. So now what? they just make stuff up. Right. What has to occur is the entire arrest, the global arrest of any who are involved in the corporation known as Israel, or any assets. This is wrong. Everything. This is just absolutely horrifying that they can be uh, continuing with sanction. Uh, others are sanctioning this behavior. If others have sanctioned this behavior, they are to be held accountable for aiding and abetting the known enemy of humankind. In the U.S. Form. Incorporated, they pretend to condemn it, and then as soon as the shelling is over, they restock Israel's supply of uh, ammunition. Right, that was reported today, and that, that has to stop now. Now, immediately. It will stop. It shall stop now. Ridiculous. Now yeah. We have, we have all evidence. It's just genocide. Necessary to it's all it is is just genocide. Right. It's all genocide. It's enough is enough. It's been evidence. Arrest them. Sick. Arn is not uh, what. Uh, you can keep doing under the public law. I mean, there's been enough of this. So all we get is, uh, you know, swat with the newspaper continually. It's humanity. So why are we patronizing that uh, newspaper hitting us in the face all the time? Well, let's see, anyways, uh, in addition to Holmes, Gaza's main power plant was struck by Israeli shells, which caused a massive explosion and a fire that sent thick plumes of black smoke into the air. They're it's like a war zone. They're, they're polluting our air. Yeah. They're perpetrating all manner of war. I'm talking about man-made global warming and these uh, tanks get about... Uh, uh, you know, six gallons to one mile. Uh, all the smoke, jet fuel, nuclear submarines, creating more nuclear waste, just goes on and on. 
Uh, so already suffering from massive power outages and a, a water crisis that puts the entire population at risk. Now you got to think about all the water supplies being damaged, uh, interrupted, food. You know, it's just life during wartime um, that puts the entire population at risk. The damage to the plant signals that those problems will likely worsen in the days ahead. We've got to get the Red Cross in there to stop this now and, and pick up the survivors. Oh, cold or the wheat from the chaff. And uh, I need to get this, these wars done and over with right now. No more war. Well, that was what they wanted in their uh, New American Century think tank for setting this up. I mean, but by the time they wrote that, we'd already been in perpetual war since. World War One, essentially. Rome. Rome, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there you go. There's always some place on the planet that's got some kind of war going some time in history. And there's no reason for it. There's no reason for it at all. Except for the love of money, 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 as Bono would say, and that was of, nice. of the UN, I mean you two. Yeah. Well, I never was. You know, if you take the two and just turn it on its side and mm -hmm. UN. Well, you've said that for a while, and others have said that as well. And of course, his fame kind of... Uh, Indicate such as well. Many people didn't become famous, and many people had to work to become famous. And, um, it's different. Business are, are, of course, the harsh reality, the, the grim facts, the hard to swallow truth. And, uh, right here. On TammyPepperman.org, this is the public law with Bo and Tammy. Every Friday night, 10 to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Tonight we were a bit late. I was a bit late going on, but it's a nice tunes. What else did you find anything interesting? Uh, otherwise, today I've kind of been consumed by this. Ebola outbreak and all of these things going on because it's just simply horrifying. Absolutely horrifying. Yeah, let's see. The one back over on Investment Watch blog is a video actually. It just says CDC urges all U.S. residents to avoid non essential travel to Liberia, Guinea, and Sierra Leone because of an unprecedented outbreak of Ebola. Right. Uh, and it began it's also in, more zero hedge, I guess. This this all began in Sierra Leone, and that is where the general council resides. They, they've never lived in the United States Incorporated. Uh, their residence is in Sierra Leone. Uh, it's a place where general council has been meeting forever. Right. It was, uh, ever since there was the Council of Nicaea and the Council of Rome and the Council of Greece, it's always been the same. General Counsel, the directors, and they visit with their staff about once a week to provide uh, intelligence and related. Because uh, after all, they have to formation. decide how best to redistribute your estate, right? Right, and, and at that level, the General Counsel is telling its minions what the new market conditions are. What's what's best to uh, do today? What's trending? Is divorce trending? Is child pedophilia trending? Is um, big coffee, hot coffee lawsuits trending? Uh, is the uh, Reclamation Act trending? What is trending? 
whatever is trending, of course, the general council will direct to be done upon the population because it's popular and you bought into it. Uh, you bought from the tree of knowledge, you played right into their hand. And um, it's horrifying that they would release Ebola on the populace in an attempt at genocide. Um, I, I'm still in shock. I, th I think the majority of our listeners are probably suffering from PTSD. I know that I am in absolute shock and, and awe over, over learning these things and, and coming to the realization that uh, General Counsel has dosed human populace with Ebola and it backfired on them. Uh, they are now quarantined in Sierra Leone and the death rate is up to 729. I know that two of those were the General Counsel's personal doctors and at this time I've seen reports of one aid worker who has contracted this terrible, terrible, horrible virus. And we'll bring further updates as we are able. The WHO director, that's uh, the World Health Organization, this is an unprecedented outbreak accompanied by extraordinary, extraordinary challenges. Outbreak moving faster than control efforts. Governments may need to use their police and military forces to guarantee the safety and security of response teams. Yeah, we've got to get Red Cross into the general council, corporate council, and psychiatrists. And I know that, you know, I do not like these entities either. However, we are not allowed to allow death to occur. I do not like death. That is not fair. That is not the way to go about things. We want them alive and we want access. So whatever facilitates the access to general counsel, governors, are, the governors are at risk of Ebola, corporate counsel, guardian ad litems, any and all attorneys that hang out at courthouses for long periods of time, anyone who has had contact with the general counsel within the past three months is required to be tested according to the CDC, FDA, and other reports that have come out today. Uh, according to a recent assessment by World Health Organization Director uh, Margaret Chan, this outbreak moving faster than our effort to control it. If the situation continues to deteriorate, the consequences can be catastrophic in terms of lost lives, but also severe socio-economic disruption and a high risk of spread to other countries. Oh my God. We've got to get containment. The assessment shared with three African presidents went on Chan, went on as Chan stated, in addition, the outbreak is affecting a large number of doctors, nurses, and other health care workers, one of the most essential resources for containing an outbreak. Absolutely. To date, more than 60 health care workers have lost their lives in helping others. Oh. Some international staff are infected. These tragic infections are deaths significantly and deaths significantly erode response capacity. We need to set up a foundation to help the, uh, pay for the funeral costs, funeral expenses, uh, other expenses. Uh, we need to, to do these things on behalf of, you know, not only humanity, but the Ebola crisis. We need to put things in play now that uh, help alleviate these, these pressures upon all of the, that are involved. Second, the situation in West Africa is of international concern and must receive urgent priority for decisive action at national and international levels. Experiences in Africa over nearly four decades tell us clearly that when well managed, an Ebola outbreak can be stopped. Right. At containment, it has to be contained. This is at the Intel Hub. Good. 
We call themselves the Civilian Intelligence Agency. Good. So. The more we can get this spread out there, the better it is, because this is this is absolutely horrifying. This a plague of this magnitude must be contained. This is not an airborne virus. Transmission requires close contact with bodily fluids of an infected person, also after death. Apart from the specific situation, the general public is not high risk of infection by the Ebola virus. Right. It says it's only affecting those in, in prolonged contact with general counsel and um, other attorneys. Uh, now we're being told health care workers, uh, corporate counsel, IRS workers and agents, as well as district attorneys, uh, judges, and those that are uh, possibly exposed through courthouse exposure, sitting on toilets, um, you know, using the, the uh, restroom facilities, that kind of thing, maybe uh, first aid workers, uh, cutting themselves in and getting bodily fluids, and of course, uh, prostitutes, uh, possibly, and, and other others that have slept, maybe with general counsel, and, and you know we're not we're not really into uh, surveillance. So you know if, if you've slept with general counsel or you're getting some on the side and you're worried about your spouse finding out, well, uh, you know we don't collect that type of information. We just want everybody to to be okay and and survive these things. So we're not like the uh, former uh, American Republic regime not in any way, shape, or form, and, and so we don't uh, bother with those details. Just come in and, and, and get tested and make sure that you're going to be okay and, and uh, won't be a uh, victim of the Ebola crisis. At the same time, it would be extremely unwise for national authorities and the international community to allow an Ebola virus to circulate widely and over a long period of time in human populations. Constant Mutation and adaptation are the survival mechanisms of viruses and other microbes. We must not give this virus opportunities to deliver more surprises. Third, this is not just a medical or public health problem. It is a social problem. Deep-seated beliefs and cultural practices are a significant cause of further spread and a significant barrier to rapid and effective containment. This social dimension must also be addressed as an internal part of the overall response. Fourth, in some areas, chains of transmission have moved underground. They are invisible. They are not being reported because of the highly high fatality rate. Many people in infected areas associate isolation wards with a sure death sentence and prefer to care for loved ones in homes or seek assistance from traditional healers. Such hidings of cases defeats strategies for rapid containment. Moreover, public attitudes can create a security threat to response teams when fear and misunderstanding turn to anger, hostility, and violence. Right. We've got to yeah, be human. Finally, despite the absence of a vaccine or a curative therapy, Ebola outbreaks can most certainly be contained. Bedrocks of outbreak containment include early detection and isolation of cases contact tracing, and monitoring of contacts, and rigorous procedures for infected control. Right. Infection control. Mm -hmm. um, so remember, this is Chan of the, uh, Margaret Chan of the WHO, the director, director Margaret Chan, is what she said. And I think we'll wrap it up. I know we'll be off and on all weekend. Uh, We'll be pulling some overtime and updating as we're able. Again, you've been listening to the public law with Bo and Tony. Do you have anything to add before we sign off, Bo? I know that this has been uh, probably one of the longest broadcasts, even in the shortest uh, construct of time, uh, for me anyway. I mean, these are horrifying things that we're facing at this time. Well, yeah, it is. It's very concerning and uh, certainly a threat that uh, needs to be taken seriously. 
Uh, for myself, um, I know, uh, yeah, um, yeah, I could uh, call it quits early. You say you want to wrap it up already? Yeah, I'm pretty well done, and unless you have anything further um, at this time, I know that we're, we'll be off and on all weekend doing updates, so. No, that's fine. We have got your uh, archive from last night, and yeah, and I'll get this one up as soon as we're done here, and um, we'll have it running on the pod uh, as soon as I get that done and rendered, and then uh, we'll again we'll provide updates, and the other hosts will pro provide updates on all uh, emergency situations, uh, management, and uh, containment of the Ebola virus deployed at the hands of the General Council recently. We are now under quarantine in Sierra Leone and other parts of Africa. Um, again, be well everybody. Hold each other tightly. Yep, be well.